Do you know Hollywood is actually controlled by the Illuminati's? It's absolute satanic. Let me tell you, my, my beloved sons and daughters, the young generation, the youth, the teenagers, especially. Some guy comes from America or he is a rapper or he's a famous a celebrity. The whole world goes and they pay big money just to see and watch nonsense, evilness. Hollywood was established for one thing, to brainwash humanity and take it away from God. Believe me, believe me, believe me. It was made for one reason, to brainwash millions upon millions upon millions of young men and women and take them away from the true divine God because you have no idea. Music, my beloved, entertainment comes and enters through the back door of your imagination. I've spoken about this before, but please, since I've mentioned it, let me talk a little bit about it. This is in the book of Revelation. Music, when you listen to it, when you choose to listen to it, you have no control anymore. Please. It's a form of hypnosis. Did you know this? It's a form of hypnosis. Hypnosis affects the subconscious mind. Us humans have no control over the subconscious mind. We can only try to fix the rational conscience mind. The subconscious will control us. When you allow this kind of a rhythm, let me tell you about Hollywood. Even the drum beat, the beat is done sometimes in a particular way it's a ritual thing it's an evil 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 thing it's a hypnotic way to the rush to the subconscious mind of the human being when that music enters through the door of imagination now listen my beloved imagination is a beautiful gift from the good god it's a good gift from the good god all of us we imagine through our imagination we can go to heaven we can go anywhere we want to go with imagination there is no limit god imagines since he created us in his image whatever he is and has he has placed in this human being this imagination when it gets tarnished it will affect your subconscious mind it will shape, mold, and form your subconscious mind. And guess what? Before you know it, since you have no control over the subconscious mind, the moment it is shaped and affected, the subconscious mind will send it to the conscience, the rational mind. When it gets to your rational mind, you're gone. You're gone. You see millions listening to this and they're all jumping. What are you like a piston in this engine, car engine going up and down? What are you? What are you jumping for? What are you doing? If you want to listen to a song, listen to a song that has the name of Jesus Christ in it. To cleanse your way of thinking, to purify your imagination. Because when the name of Jesus enters through the door of imagination, it purifies your imagination. Guess what? Imagination is the way for you ending up worshiping God or Satan. Did you know this? It is the imagination that will take me later on onto faith and then worshiping God. But if the imagination is not pure, I will veer off and go to the dark side. Satan will take over. Satan will take over. So we need to purify this imagination. How do we do it? Only God can. I need to be clinging to the word of the Lord. Listen to songs. Make them, make them songs that are about, about the Lord. Praising God. Something that is pure.